Hey everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez, film critic of iCritic.net. And by the time you watch this video, it will have been one day since ABC made the absolutely stunning decision to cancel the Roseanne revival. Roseanne was set to come back for a second revival season, 11th season overall, and due to a racist tweet, a very, very racist tweet, which I am not even going to attempt to defend. I mean, I think I know what she was trying to do, but boy... Mm, it did not work and even if it did work it would still be questionable but yeah abc canceled the show and if you have some history with me and this channel you'll know that i was actually very much against the idea of a roseanne revival it was like you know the original's a classic um i think eight of the nine seasons are some of the best comedic se seasons you're going to see on tv and i felt we didn't need to go back to the well and while I always intended to make a video kind of reviewing the new Roseanne revival, I didn't get the chance to. And if you want my opinions of it, here's where it is. I thought it was fantastic. I loved it. And from a show perspective, I am definitely sorry to see it go. As for why it got canceled, I can definitely see a lot of ways on why that was the potentially the only option for the studio, which is Disney. And I could also see how it was an overreaction. In fact, I'm so conflicted about the situation that I'm even waiting a day or two before I officially comment on it because I really want to get my, you know, thoughts cleared up. You know, we get attached to these shows and when it's not coming back, we feel really bad. And that's not really what this is about. But, of course, since the cancellation, it has been brought up a couple times. Well, do you think the show's going to get revived? Do you think Fox might revive it or something? And... That might be worth examining, and since so few people are talking about it, I'm going to start examining it first, because the question, can Roseanne be uh, saved and go to another network, is an absolute yes. There are a lot of reasons why this show would be ideal for a network to pick up, but there's also a lot of reasons why maybe it won't happen. And let's talk about the pros first. First of all, it's a recognizable name. R name recognition is everything. I mean, heck, Mad About You is coming back, and it's considered a highly anticipated revival. Why? Was Mad About You ever that great of a show? Not really, but you remember it. You recognize the name, so name recognition goes a long way. Second, Roseanne was a hit. And I'm not just talking about, like, any hit. This is a huge hit. This is 20 million, you know, plus people viewing the thing. Even though it lost half of its audience, it had more than 10 million people watching the final episode. That is a huge, huge deal. Third, most of these viewers were an even bigger rarity. This is the TV viewing public. Most of the ratings comes through streaming sites like Hulu and Netflix. Roseanne was a hit on TV where networks need to sell ads to the advertisers that audience that is a huge huge thing that any network would kill to have roseanne beat some very popular shows in the time slot including will and grace and the voice if i remember correctly do you imagine what a show like that could do for the cw heck the cw would be a contender for the number one most viewed show of the night for the first time in ever and finally it's fresh enough that they could in theory start right back up but now we got to get to the cons uh the first con is very obvious roseanne herself as many people have been pointing out throughout yesterday and probably they will continue to point out through today roseanne is no stranger to controversy, and this isn't even her first Twitter tirade. In fact, really, considering what she's like on Twitter, this was probably going to happen at some point anyway. So, you have to deal with Roseanne. Secondly, would all the cast members even want to come back? Would they want to work with Roseanne? I mean, do their contracts stipulate that they have to move over to another network if the show gets sold? Keep in mind... Um, the woman who played Roseanne Barr's oldest granddaughter was apparently calling to quit the show before the show was actually canceled. And while Sarah Gilbert and Michael Fishman have not ruled out the possibility of wanting to return to the show, 
They are definitely in very much disagreement with their on-screen mom. But again, they left it a little open, probably because they've been in this industry a long time. They're professionals. They know that, hey, the show could be canceled one day and then revived the next. You just never know. And they might want to leave that door open. We already know that consulting writer Wanda Sykes already left the show. So with some of the old writers leave, I don't know who you could retain. What would the working relationship be like? Third, even Roseanne's producer, Werner, said that canceling the show was the right thing to do. So they might not really be in the mood to shop the show around. They might even want to move on from it themselves. And then, of course, fourth, the network. I mean, people have thrown out um, Fox as a prime candidate to bring the show back because they could pair it with Tim Allen's Last Man Standing. Well, I know that sounds kind of like ideal in theory because both feature conservative main stars... The thing is, Last Man Standing is not particularly in your face about it. He's a conservative, yes, but it's not an edgy show. And Tim Allen, uh, despite some claiming is not a very good comedian anymore these days, doesn't typically go out of the way to be offensive. The most offensive thing he has said in the last 10 years at least from what I understand, is that his show was canceled by ABC for being conservative, which is definitely very, very debatable. Um, I think there were other factors leading to that show's cancellation. And and then, of course, will the advertisers join Roseanne? I mean, even at a huge hit, do they want to continue with Roseanne? Do they want to advertise? Do they want their brand associated with her? And would her antics just bring down the rest of the network? And I think that was the main reason Disney canceled the show. Because not only did they see the ratings dipping, and they probably would have dipped more, who knows. But if this continued, and if they didn't do anything, then her antics would overshadow the other shows on the network. And that was the main reason they did it. Trust me, it's not because she did something offensive. Because here's the thing, Katy Perry has actually been fairly offensive on American Idol all year she's actually been described as a problem judge and abc didn't cancel american idol and as far as i am aware they're bringing katie perry back for the next season so it and granted what katie perry is doing it was very very different from what roseanne did but the thing is you know it, i guess american idol's ratings have been steady Roseanne's have been going down so there was just this fear that you know what we've alienated so many people we know we're not getting that 20 million viewers back we're just going to cut our loss right here and that's probably what they did and as for the show getting saved I wouldn't bet too much on it happening what might actually save the show ironically is sales of the DVDs because you already see reruns being pulled from CMT from Paramount TV, if it's on Nick at Night, I can guarantee you it's gone there. Hulu pulled the final season from their site before I had the chance to watch the last two episodes. So I did something I never did, or at least I rarely do this. I, I think I've done it for one other show, which was The Muppets, because after a few years, it was pretty obvious there was no Blu-ray release coming. I bought the show on Vudu, at least the 10th season. And hopefully they will let me keep that because I bought it and paid for it. I don't like buying digital because of the thing with Hulu. You know, it could be gone the next day. I don't actually own that. But I wanted to watch the last of the show. And I want to have the show because I still like the show despite Roseanne's personal opinions. And so I'm going to have the DVDs forever. And hopefully those digital files will remain there. But if there are sales of DVD and digital files that spike because of this, and I bet you they probably will, some company will prob could potentially take a chance on it because if for some reason they can convince the cast to stay in the show and if they can weather the storm, by the time the show comes back, they might still have a hit on their hands. And, you know, money sp talks. It just does. So... I'm not surprised Disney canceled it, but if it comes back, whoever buys it, it'll probably work out wonderfully for them. But will it come back? I'm a little doubtful because it doesn't seem like the producers of the show 
are interested in shopping it around. It doesn't seem like the entire cast is willing to come back. So, I mean, we'll see where we stand in a couple of weeks. It kind of just depends on Roseanne's apology tour, if you will. The apology tour is, of course, famously where you do something wrong. You go on a public apology tour and you kind of see how the public um, reacts to it. And she may even have started that prematurely because she said she was taking some drugs. And that's why she was, you know, tweeting all this stuff. And as someone clearly pointed out these drugs that you take for depression or sleep or whatever the heck it was they don't make you racist um and you know when you read that tweet even though again i think i understood what she was trying to make as the joke but when i read it there's certainly an element in there that i think she really believes that of people and that's the problem it didn't even come off as a fail joke. I had to read it several times before I thought I understood where she's coming from, but yeah, it just, it was not, I'm not in the mood to defend that tweet, to be honest, so, and I'm not going to, because it doesn't deserve to be. Um, Personally, of course, I'm sad. I'm sad that this happened. I'm sad that she, <laughs> that she had to open her mouth and continue to be a pain. I'm sad because I'm not going to get the 11th season of Roseanne, and I want it to see another season to be quite honest i'm sad for all the people who lost their jobs but you know what disney if you truly are the moral company if you did this for moral reasons you will pay everyone except roseanne what they would have gotten for the second season yeah i know that is very very costly but that would truly be the right thing to do you know pay the people who were expecting to work who now are not going to be working and call it a wash like write it off if you will otherwise i don't know i mean this is why i need to formulate more thoughts because i mean you put hundreds of people out of work because one person said something very stupid and i honestly think that might be a little worse but what do you folks think do you think disney made the right call are you gonna miss the show do you think it could get revived i would love to know so comment below like favorite share subscribe if you like the videos i make consider becoming a patreon member it's totally optional but even one dollar a month goes a long way to helping keep the site run smoothly and as always flame responsibly have a good one